Right, um, I've been doing some delding and I'm afraid that the results have not been 100% up to scratch. Um, what we've got here is some uh, decorative cacking um, between this piece of this nice piece of cast iron here and this piece of uh, piece of nice rusty steel here. And you'll notice that we've managed to get more material on the sides than actually bridging the gap. And uh, I've got an even better result at the top of here. Now this is purely decorative. Um, it is actually welded on the back, um, not delded. Um, it needed to be to be welded because this does need to hold some fairly significant force. This is part of the uh, part of the head of my mill. You can see it's uh, bolted in place. Um, there will be some some bracing added into here, and then we'll delve all the way around, and hopefully we get a decent uh, uh, a decent result. Unfortunately, on the head itself, which is just here, although some of the uh, the results actually do end up looking, uh, let's focus on that, shall we? There we go. Um, the results here do actually look like proper delts. Um, I've got yeah, some nice splatter on the sides there, uh, a very organic look on here with a bit of slag inclusion. Um, that was actually a second pass. Um, a lot of where we came from is what we can see under here. Um, I don't know if we can really really see that properly. I'm trying to move around. We're going to get some wibbly wobbly action going on. Um, maybe some, yeah, this is going to be really fun. Trifle balanced all over the place. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, try and do it all in one go so you don't have to bother editing, you twat. Right, focus. So, um, you'll notice that what's underneath here is, um, is actually dangerously close to being a weld. And that's the result I got all the way round. I did actually have to start putting in a second pass to get a proper um, focus, to get a proper delded aspect to uh, to what I was doing. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, as ever, you know, it's uh, it's something I I did get a decent amount of uh, stick and wiggle going on, but I'm afraid that my elbow technique just isn't there. So, uh, more seriously. Um, let's, uh, let's come out, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this thing to stand up straight. Yeah, we'll probably bend from the leg, really, wouldn't it? Oh, that's not uh, right, focus, 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 focus. Well, okay, focus. No, you're not focusing, are you? There we go. And uh, zoom out. Yeah, focus. Right. Um, yeah, I did, um, I did weld this up. Um, basically proceeded by uh, by tacking in place checking that everything was square um, and then further tacking around making sure everything was square and then welding between um, leaving plenty of time for it to cool down so, so I was only doing short runs um, this is a horrible result here it actually did look an awful lot better but I got a fair amount of slag inclusions, so I had to put a second pass in and I made a total fucking pig's ass of that. So there you go. Um, what I was mostly worried about though was, uh, was distortion. Um, you may remember that we had, um, we had less than a hundredth of, uh, of, of difference. Uh, so we you know, were trying to keep things square here. Um, we did end up with, a less, with less than a hundredth of difference there um, before welding. Um, once I tacked, everything seemed fairly clean. Uh, I'll do that on the other side. Uh, so let's have a look at where we're at. I'm going to do this in real time because I'm trying not to, trying not to edit any of this shit. Uh, which is always a good idea, isn't it? That's it, we peaked. So let's that's going down and then coming back up that was 500 and then back up by 10 20 oh, 30 that's very very bulged there so 
um, I've got about three tenths of a millimetre of out of squareness going on here, which is not fabulous, certainly not compared to where I was with the uh, with the with the original uh, with the original setup. But we'll have to live with that and shim stuff out. Such is life. And uh, yeah, my welding's dog shit.